Today, we're gonna to be talking about backups for Confluence. That's right, my good friends over at Revise not only have one of the better backup solutions for Jira, but they also have one for Confluence in which we're gonna be highlighting today. Before we get started, make sure you smash the subscribe button, make sure you drop a like, and most importantly, don't forget to start that free 30-day trial to Revise Data Manager for Confluence. All right, let's jump into Confluence and let's walk through a typical scenario. So here I am inside of a Confluence page and what I've done behind the scenes is I have done two things. Number one, I have installed Data Manager for Confluence and I've already taken a backup. Now what this is going to do, it is going to establish a baseline that we're then going to use when we restore pages that we accidentally delete. So let me show you how this works. So here I am inside of just a regular Confluence space Nothing special going on here, but I want to basically demonstrate a couple of key and pretty cool functionalities. So let's just say that this demonstration space dash getting started dash making a template, let's just say it accidentally gets deleted, right? And a couple of things I want you to know before I hit delete. Number one, notice that this page is a nested page. That means it is the child of another page and that page is called the demonstration space, okay? And also notice that it has a child page and notice that that child page has a child page. So we're not just deleting a page, but we're deleting a page with children. And this page that we're going to delete is also the child of another page. So those details are very critical because I want to highlight the power of data manager for Confluence because you may be asking yourself at this point, Alex, why do I need a backup and restore functionality for Confluence when if I delete a page inside of Confluence, it just goes to the trash and I can retrieve it from the trash. Well, that may be true, but when you delete a page in Confluence and then you try to retrieve it using Confluence's native restoration capabilities, it doesn't preserve the page hierarchy. It just puts it as a root page all the way at the top and if you do this for one page, cool, but if you do it for 20, 30, 50, 100 pages, not a very scalable solution. So let me show you a better way and let me show you how Data Manager for Confluence works. All right, so here we go. Again, we're accidentally, right? We are totally doing this on accident. I'm just going to go over here and delete this page. I'm going to ignore the warning that says, don't delete, <laughs> right? And so we have completely just ignored those warnings and this page is now gone. And again, sure, I can go and retrieve it from the trash, but if I do that, then it's not gonna put it back where I need it. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our apps up here. We're gonna go to manage apps. Then on the left-hand side, we're gonna go down and find our revised data manager for Confluence. And I'm gonna click a restore. As I mentioned a few moments ago, I've already done a backup. So that page has already been backed up. And normally when you sign up for data manager for Confluence, it does automatic backups for you and it also does on-demand backups. So you can rest assured that all your stuff is being backed up anyways. So now that we have deleted something, we just want to restore. So we're going to click on the restore button over here and we're going to restore a page, but notice that you can restore spaces, pages, blogs, or attachments. So they got you pretty much covered when it comes to all things Confluence. But in this case, we're going to restore a page. We're going to use that snapshot, right? That backup that I've already created. And then we're going to select the space that it needs to be put back into. And so I do believe this one was called a demonstration space. And then I'm going to click next. Now, before I get too far, you'll notice that I have the option here to put that page, not only back in the same space that I got it from, but I could also maybe send it somewhere else. So you can see that here on this screen where I'm picking my, where I'm going to. So this can work across different confluences. And it's also very flexible that not only can you go across different confluences, instances of confluence, but within that confluence, you can also go to a different space. So also notice that the native restoration will restore it back to the original space at the root level. But now here we have that flexibility to actually put it somewhere else. So I'm just going to pick the exact same space. I'm going to hit preview pages. And now the tricky part is remembering the page. And so if you remember, it's going to be this one right here where it's called demonstration space getting started making a template right if you remember from just a few seconds ago and so i'm going to click on next because that's the one i want to restore and then we have a couple of options restore the parent right so this is basically going to ask us do we want to create it as a new parent aka put it at the root do we want to reuse the hierarchy if it exists right if that hierarchy still exists do we want to do it 
or do you just want to attach selected pages to the home page, right? Again, root. We're going to use that reuse because we know, right? I'm trying to demonstrate that this is going to remember and put it back in the right spot. And then on the second half, we're being asked, do we want to restore to children, right? Do we want to bring in those nested children pages? Do you have the option to say no? Or best case scenario for me is yes, because I do want those pages. We are then going to click on view summary down here. And this is basically going to go and find that page. We're all good. Everything looks good here. And just click restore. You can put notes. This is a very optional step, but if you are in compliance, right? If you're in a regulated industry and you need to keep track of these things, I'd recommend you add some detailed notes about what you did, hit the restore button, and now Revise is going to go do its thing. It's going to trigger off a job. It's going to take a few minutes. It all depends on the size and how many pages and spaces and all the other good stuff of your Confluence, right? The bigger it is, the little longer it's going to take. But for the most part, it's going to go and take a few minutes. All right. And once we have a success, now it's time to go look at the evidence. Because I'm from the Show Me State, I'm going to show you that all those pages, right? That specific page and those nested children are right back where they belong. So I'm going to go into my demonstration space. On the left hand side, we're going to look for that main demonstration space that I had. And so here's my demonstration space, getting started making the template. Notice that it's right back underneath this demonstration space dash getting started. That was the original. So that's good. Now let's see if we got the children. So if I expand this, here's that child page and then the child page underneath that. So they are both there and notice that it's all back, right? And so again, this is not something that you can do natively. And so you're going to want something like Revise's Data Manager for Confluence to be able to do this. So don't be caught unprepared. Start your free 30-day trial. There's a link in the description down below. This is something that's going to save your butt. And unfortunately, like Data Manager for Jira, you don't normally know you need it until a crisis hits. And that's not when you want to be reactive to this. So get ahead of the curve here. Go get your free 30-day trial. Check them out. Give my good friends over at Revise some love. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.